Hey Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Look, if you've been following, we've been vlogging the Yuma Clinical Trials progression since we moved out here in uh, July of 2021. We really got started the research site. Like our first SIV was not until December of 2021. So this is really our second year that we've completed, the year of 2023. Finally, and it's, it is year two, this is what we tell clients. You get profitable in year two. If you do it the right way, you can start distributing profits to the owners. That makes them happy, especially the PIs. Around year two, even if you have a patient PI, around year two, they start to expect to see some return on their investment. Even if their investment is just time or letting you use space in their office for free. But a lot's really happened this year. We expanded uh, to a outside office so Jaime who's my business partner we're gonna see him next apparently it's the hub and spoke model so you have a standard like office where you catch up store things do paperwork sometimes see patients and then you have like the individual clinics hub and spoke so we just signed our uh, we have three PIs we're soon to have four that'll be an, an announcement for next year in 2024 but we've got our own space now we started seeing patients here as well. So we're really expanding in this market and we're gonna keep vlogging, but let's go hear from the rest of the team and see what their biggest takeaways were from 2023. Sub-investigator, nurse practitioner, and business partner of Yuma Clango Trails, Jaime Valles. Year two is done, man. What do you think of year two so far? Well, year two definitely was the year that we saw some movement, progression, more patients, more studies. And uh, year two is when the things really got rolling I would say the first studies were um, harder and uh, I believe it's the nature of the of the business right we have to start with the hardest st studies because that's the only option you got when you start but as you're moving uh, up and getting more experience you, you, can, you can be a little bit more selective in that sense and this year I think we have very good studies actually the ones we have the ones that are yet to come and the ones that are in the process that are good, good studies, good medications. And at the end of the day, that's where our PIs care. They care about the medication, the IP that it's being tested, that it's good, that it that will show some improvement. And um, we're blessed to have very good PIs. And and the, the new PI that is yet to come this year, it's gonna it's it's a very good PI as well. So uh, it's been good hiring new staff, it, uh, retaining staff. It's it's one of the hard ones too because um, the world is competitive and and um, there are some bigger organizations that may want to hire your staff and they go there which Man. is fine so yeah we lost I forgot to mention yeah. that thank you we lost two key employees yeah. this year and we hired three more three more correct and it looks like it's working out yeah now. Yeah. yeah but for a while there there was it was chaos yeah 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 but you got actually we lost the uh, three employees we two which were critical three. we learned about crc turnover this year yeah and we experienced it and didn't learn we did it dealt with it we, had it we learned with studies being canceled that's right we learned about getting a study that you thought was easy and then realizing it's hard correct we learned that we running having some success running ads here and it's not through the newspaper that's right uh <laughs> And we learned that there's still more in independent physicians that want to do trials. And we learned that once you find the right people and you train them, yeah, uh, God willing, it becomes easier. Because it certainly is becoming easier now. I, I'm I, not even needed every day anymore, and neither are you. I, I would agree with that. Yes, definitely. Especially because the, in the clinic where we had the PIs there all the time. So, so that's a sub by it. And now Dr. Joe is a sub by And now we have Dr. Joe as a sub by as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they're in the clinic every day. So... So anything that it's needed, it, it um, so uh, some clinician is there at all times. So it's it's working out great. We 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 got this office, the one we're walking into. I'm about to get into elevator. Yeah, we'll just do a tour. This is the waiting area. We're actually gonna get two more spaces up here next year, hopefully. But I know one for sure, and then another. So we'll have like the space you're gonna see us going into right now is our current office away from our clinics. But we're actually going to expand this one to have more suites next to it, um, and you'll see guys. You guys will see that in the next year. We need the extra space for an extra exam room. Would be nice because we're starting to do multiple visits a day, and also just more storing of stuff like lab kits and 
eventually IP. Right now, all the IP is stored at the clinics, but eventually that won't be the case. And this is when you come in. It's really nice. You have wait, multiple waiting areas. You have nice bathrooms with showers. This might eventually be allowed for us to use the reception area. And then we're gonna get this one soon. And then this is our current office. So everybody's getting ready for New Year. Yeah. Luis just did a, his first visit by himself. What'd you think? Honest thoughts. <laughs> I mean, honest. I got a lot of pressure by myself. <laughs> I oh, just by okay. myself. But it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Cool? Cool. Cool. <laughs> What were your biggest takeaways? Oh, I'm asking everyone this. The biggest thing you learned in 2023. Preferably if related to research, but it doesn't have to be. Oh. It's on you. That's a deep question. <laughs> um. You guys get time to think. But this is the site. Then we'll show you guys more. We'll document more. Happy New Year. I mean, how to be... Uh, independent by myself, the, like doing the research and today was your first know. visit on your own. Yeah, well, wow. not just by my. Own, maybe. Well, you are totally yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, the visit's not that hard, but it's just a lot of questionnaires. Yeah. That's okay, it. so you're learning a lot. What about you? You've been three months, almost four. Mm-hmm. I'm in the research. I've learned a lot. Um, you got to read a lot. You get a read. That's not going away. <laughs> Man, Nicole's a legend. <laughs> I mean, is, uh, is it accurate? Probably not, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds um, good. But I mean, I learn things every day, and you know. I, but what's your biggest takeaway from this year? This year. Ooh. From doing this. <sighs> Don't believe what everyone says. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's very vague. <laughs> Yeah, you want well, to I mean, like in 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 terms of like, okay, they say you know, like don't believe everything you know everyone says. Like, you know, you have to. There's 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 cons out there, and you know, I learned that you know some people just do this because they want money. Not oh, you mean research? Research, yeah. Them. Okay, I got you. Yeah. From the patient. Correct. Interesting take. Yeah, I got you. Grecia. Um, the job in itself, this is all new for me. So biggest I guess takeaway. my biggest take is learning how to be a coordinator. I like it. Or the basics of how to be a coordinator. But you guess or trying. Or <laughs> trying to be a coordinator. And Katie, the SOS panel is, oh my God. How are you doing? <laughs> good. How's it going? It's going good. So what's your biggest takeaway from... Mm. You've been here the whole year. I know. All Long year, one. all year, it's pretty much been critiquing my skills as a CRC because I got about six months last year when I started, and then this Jeez. year, critiquing everything. But also, biggest takeaway is learning how to manage because I've never been in like a manager position, so it's definitely difficult as to how to go about it when you've never done it before. Mm -hmm. So probably just learning how to deal with different personalities and things like that. All right, awesome. You'll see Katie at SOST, guys. So we'll document more. There's Jaime. <laughs> bye bye, guys. <laughs>